process of melting all this aluminum in my homemade furnace foundry. I don't know what you call it. Just fired it up. I did some yesterday. Um, my little homemade thing. Made it all from scratch. Bought all these parts, made this. It was a little windy yesterday, so I put this here because I think when uh, you watch a lot of other guys melt, the vents are back here. So I get any kind of wind and it, it messes with that, you know. We slow it down, speed it up. But too much wind blowing this way feeds too much oxygen in there and messes it up. So this was just a piece of scrap wood I threw together. But uh, that was an old propane tank. Used to look just like that. Here's my little stack so far, pretty cool. Um, I did a couple pieces of brass. That's just so, so neat. And it, it was really dirty. This was the first melt. So I think I'll probably remelt them and pour them a little bit better. But yeah, and then these are the bars of uh, aluminum. And then I bought some little ones that try to do like hearts and crosses. Probably gonna take a lot of work on the grinder to clean them up, but I'm not that good at pouring yet. Maybe I didn't have it hot enough. I don't know, but I thought it was pretty cool. But yeah, these are so neat. Heavy. So anyways, I'll just keep uh, making that pile bigger. Melt, melt, melt. I'll show you a couple pours and uh, this pour real quick get some more of the nasty aluminum off the top it took a lot out so it's looking pretty clean get this out and heat these up real quick so there's no shock break apart but that happens solidified almost. See still a little liquidy. Give them a second. Of course it doesn't want to come out sometimes. There we go. how fast it starts bubbling. It's almost boiling hot now. Pretty cool. And look at the stack I got going. And I'm not even making, look over here in my wheelbarrow. I'm not even making a dent in the wheelbarrow. I got a lot to go. So we'll keep at it.
Okay, round two. I got to get rid of all this. I need my wheelbarrow back. And uh, we got some rain moving in in a couple days, so I can't leave this stuff sitting out here. I've been just been sitting here. Leaves, dirt getting all over it. So anyways, I got to put it up before the rain comes in. Because you don't want this stuff to get wet. Because water's bad when you're, you know, got metal that's boiling. Not a good combo. So let's see if we can get uh, all this done today and how much we'll get. This is the haul from the last melt. So should be a lot more bars and I got a lot of stuff to remelt. What do you call that? The Just the dirty, you can't see with the sun on it, but all the dirty stuff that's on the aluminum. A lot of that's still really good aluminum. So I'm gonna fire it up and I'm gonna go ahead and clean up all this dross, I think it's called. Could be saying it wrong. I'm gonna remelt that so I have a, a pan to keep putting my stuff in. So let's get her fired up. even putting a dent in the wheelbarrow so keep at it
we're still cooking right along. Pile's getting a little bit bigger. And it's making some progress, but I don't think I'm going to get to it this evening. Last pour of the day. Sun's getting low, shadows are getting long. Okay, we are done for today. Got a nice uh, pile over there. We'll remelt that and get some more aluminum out of it. It's not trash yet. Uh, almost made it to the bottom over there, but still got a good size, but shadows are getting long. So we got to stop for this evening. I'll uh, get all that over there. We'll pile it up, we'll weigh it and see how much we got. Okay, so this was the first part of the video, which was a couple days ago second part of the video which is right now we're on uh, 11 12 beautiful outside i can't believe it's almost mid-november and I'm still out here in a t-shirt anyways let's see what we got here 14.4 ounces two pounds so that's a littler one so it's looking like the bigger one that I have with the handle or about over a pound. Yeah, a little over a pound. So I'm not gonna bore you with me putting all these on here, but give you a quick little snapshot of what we got. So we're at 12 pounds right there. I'll go ahead and weigh all this up and give you a total. Okay, so I got it all weighed up. I've got a total of 69 pounds and three ounces. <laughs> That's pretty cool. I got it all for free. So right now on, what is it? The 12th of November, uh, in the U S aluminum is a, just a hair over a dollar a pound. So just easy math, $69 worth. Silver right now is at 2236. Obviously, that's ask. I can't buy it at that, but just for easy math, right? Um, so I could turn all this aluminum into three ounces of silver. Now I don't know if that's my total my goal for right now. I just like getting this stuff for free, melting it. I'm gonna stack it. I'm also doing brass and copper. Um so the, you know, the price is going to go way up. Aluminum's the cheapest I can melt, um, then brass and then copper. So, but may, maybe down the line, I'd like to turn all this into silver. So this will be getting stuff for free for silver. Probably my goal. So I'll be doing some brass melting pretty soon. This is a lot of brass stuff I pick up for free. Um, I know maintenance guys, I know, you know, I'm a maintenance guy. So when this stuff goes bad and it gets hucked in the trash, I take it. You know, and when they when these blow out, there's copper in there, there's a little bit of silver in there. It's just going to go in the trash. So why have it go in the landfill when I can take it, melt it, and possibly turn it into silver? I mean, I definitely could. I just don't know if I'm going to do that yet. So there she is all stacked up. 69 pounds. <laughs> and I still got a bunch of slag to uh, melt. You know, I'm not really counting all this stuff. I'm just playing with that stuff. But uh, so yeah, I'm either going to... Melt this stuff down, try to turn it into silver. And I want to learn how to play uh, with sand casting. Maybe make some stuff. Now, obviously, like on this one, I left this one on top just to show you. Um, I got some crap in it. So this isn't like perfectly pure, pure uh, aluminum. 
that I'd have to remelt again, get that dirt out of there. I could remelt all this again and make it a lot more cleaner. Probably as you saw, some of the stuff was a little chunky. Probably didn't let it get hot enough. Anyways, critique me all you want. It's, you know, I'm, I'm learning. I'm new at this, no professional whatsoever, just having fun doing it. So anyways, thanks for watching.